Hey, you guys. Um, very late roostling report, like a couple weeks late, really, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe every two weeks try to do a thing. I, I haven't decided quite yet. Um, life shit for me, though. Um, I did get a promotion at my job, so that's pretty cool. I'm training to be an apprentice there at the place that I work. Um, I got my college transcripts from Clark College back, so I can start moving in the direction of going back to school too so that's kind of cool and i've still been just doing yoga at the ymca with uh, my wife and like a little bit at home and stuff too and just hitting the gym on top of that so it's been good i've been exhausted but it's been pretty good work's been a lot of call outs and stuff but <clears throat> even that's been fine we've been getting through it uh games wise this last few weeks i played robots with adam um that's just that roguelike uh robot game that I talked about in one of these and we didn't really get much further but it's a fun time you should check it out uh summoners war has a new event a bunch of new events there's like a christmas one now too but the most important thing is a new creature dropped it's a uh, twin angels which michael immediately pulled the best one i pulled five different not fives though this one I just didn't get the Twin Angels, so I got a bunch of good shit, but I'm still super greedy about it, and just want to pull one Twin Angel. Got 12 days left, we'll see if I can do it. Um, Fortnite, been playing that a bit. Uh, it's got like Lego stuff now, and car stuff, and festival stuff, which is just Guitar Hero on the controller, which is, all of those are just fine. Um, the updates to the actual Battle Royale part of the game, fun as shit, like it's, it's just fun. There's Santa stuff going on right now, so, like, you can find gift boxes and throw them, and giant present appears, and you can get, like, some weapons off of it. Or you got this, like, um, grapple hook that gives you, like, ice feet, and you can slide around. It's fun as fuck. Um, also, a beat the OG Ratchet & Clank, well, the PS3 port of the OG Ratchet & Clank. I had already beaten the other one. Um, I was gonna try to beat all the Ratchet & Clanks this year, because my brother has, uh, PlayStation Premium, and I can just piggyback off of them, so I've been using that. Uh, but no, life's just gotten in the way, and like a bunch of other stuff that I've been wanting to do because I just constantly want to do all kinds of things. So I beat one Ratchet and Clank this year, and he's not going to re up on it, so that's the one I'll have beaten, is the one I've already beaten. But it was fun. Um, I forgot how much of a bitch the last boss was for a minute there, um, but other than that, it's. Was, it was, is a pretty good time until I hit that, like, little wall. That and the fucking skateboarding sections, I hate them. Um, I also played, uh, I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, but Garu, uh, Mark of the Wolves. Um, it's a, a, like, final, not final fight. Oh my god, my brain. Okay, that sucks. Anyway, it's a really cool little fighting game. Um, and it's got a unique thing in the story mode where if you lose to a guy... You can choose the different penalties for him. It'll make your score worse, but you can be like, oh, I want his health to be halved, or like, I want to start with special or stuff like that. So when you get to the cheap ass boss, you can just half his health, and it's a lot easier to get through, which is kind of nice. Um, I've also been playing Street Fighter VI a bunch. Um, I've been mostly playing with JP because I went through arcade with him and just wanted to dick around. He's a zoner character, but I'm actually not bad with him although i've been reading that he's just like kind of an easy character in general to get to know so it might not be that i'm just getting better with zoner characters it might be that he's just easy to use um yeah other than that really haven't played much my switch sd card is fried so i had to get a new one and it's like stalled me out on switch progress just because i'm being a bitch about switching the sd cards but uh yeah i did watch a ton of shit um bunch of wwe because i had to catch up from november and october uh and that's all been just fantastic um honestly like a bunch of cool shit happened cm punk a guy i don't really know came back um but he seems cool and fucking randy orton came back which is awesome because randy orton's just cool as shit um yeah and then a bunch of the nxt guys are starting to make a jump up so that's neat too carmelo hayes and a few others um, I did also watch three different Holiday Flintstone movies back to back. Um, one was like more of an episode where Fred adopts like a random orphan who like steals shit from people and stuff. And then Fred teaches him, I guess, Christmas somehow. And 
Then he kidnaps the kid out of the kid's, like, family's back of their car because they adopted him to go, like, fly around the sky and help Santa Claus. So <laughs> that's a thing. Um, the other one is just a Christmas character with, with the Flintstones. Um, I guess some of the dialogue's taken straight out of the book, a lot of people were saying, so that's kind of, like, a neat thing. Um, maybe. Or maybe just laziness, possibly. Um, also was, there's the third one, and it's just, like, I think, just something. It's just a Christmas thing. I just don't even remember it. Um, I watched The Exorcist, The Believer. It's a terrible horror movie. Just barely a movie. It's like a string of things that happen put together. Um, and it's weird because all the advertising for the movie is just this little white girl. But it's primarily about the second possessed girl in the movie, which is a little black girl and her black dad. And for some reason, all of the advertising for this movie that I could see for it don't, like, show these people at all. It's actually kind of fucking ridiculous. Like, just... They they targeted out, like, a certain group of people, and, like, n they won't watch it otherwise. And, yeah, I don't know. It's, like, low-key racist, I feel. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Possibly wrong, but it feels that way. Um, I watched The Nutcracker, which is boring as fuck, man. I, like... I think I keep trying to watch The Nutcracker at some points, and it's just... The movie bores me. The... I don't know. The Macaulay Culkin one just bores the shit out of me. Uh... I watched this cool cult documentary I think I talked about in the last one, but it's called Love Has Won the Cult of Mother God, and it's this lady that, like, convinced a bunch of people that she was God, and that, like, different multiple, like, dudes that she was with were Father God, and then she, like, poisoned herself slowly and died, and then they carried her body around to different places for quite a while, um, and then, I don't know, they just figured that was enough, and she ascended, I guess, and they still, like believe that that's what for real happened and like the shit that they believe is like she knows like robin williams her his spirit helped mother god be mother god and so does like hitler's and like a bunch of other people that weren't dead like actors um yeah it's crazy shit you should go watch that documentary if anything you get out of this you should go watch that shit because it's fucking amazing i think it's on hulu it's just awesome um I watched Teen Titans Go See Space Jam, which was just a horrid piece of shit. I like Space Jam, so it was good to see Space Jam, but not with, like, the Teen Titans Go guys, like, trying to talk over it. Super terrible. Um, and then I did go... Well, I didn't go see it, obviously, because it's not in theaters anymore, I don't think. But me and my wife watched the Barbie movie, and that was pretty good. Um, the aesthetic of that movie is just amazing. Like, it looks really great, and the message is good for both men and women, and... Yeah, it's a it was a good time. It was I, I enjoyed it. Um, other than that, I've been listening to just straight up Christmas music nonstop. Uh, mostly like snow level like songs from this giant like four hundred song Mario Christmas playlist. It's got all kinds of shit. There's like SpongeBob songs and Mickey Mouse Clubhouse songs and all kinds of ice levels from every like game you could ever think of songs and weird dark christmas songs and yeah i don't know it's been pretty great listen uh you should check that out too it's on spotify it's just mario christmas jams and it's it's pretty good um then just yeah i mean i haven't really read much this week so that is it guys uh sorry about this one this is a little like half-assed well i guess most of them are but I'm mostly exhausted at this point so but i knew i needed i wanted to put one out i guess needs a strong a strong word but i wanted to put one out and so yeah um let me know how your guys's weeks are going and what's been going on with you and all your christmas plans and stuff love your wrestlings have a good one